Post game here with head coach Jim Penders. Huskies a 14 to seven winner over UMass Lowell. Coach, uh, your offense was able to get some runs there in the fifth. Uh, you rack up 14 runs on 14 hits and without John Topa as well. Yeah, Topa went down. Hopefully we have him back for the weekend, but you know, he took a took an HPP first bat of the game off that, that scar that he had from his surgery um, you know, on the elbow. So that uh, it swelled right up on him pretty quickly. So we, uh, he couldn't go, he couldn't swing the bat. We ran him back out there, but it's really stiffened up when he was on defense. So hopefully we got him back. But um, yeah, the guys swung the bats well. I, you know, we got a lot of respect for their offense over there. They can really hit. And, and that was that was noticed. You know, when we scored those seven, they got four right back and had the tying run at the plate uh, at the bottom half of the inning. So uh, we know that they've got an explosive offense, especially with the way the wind was blowing today. So. Um, we had to keep coming. We had to keep coming. Had to keep scoring, and and knowing that we didn't want to put PJ in the game today. I really wanted to stay away from from Wallace if we could, but it was good to get him back out there. He looked really good in his second inning. He was still feeling some some things out, I think, in his first inning. That second inning was really good. The seventh, eighth, and ninth on the mound were you know, real highlights for me watching those guys work. Having Dan Rakowski back there was awesome. He was, you know, he, he probably should be doing some some live pens for us in non-competitive situations, but he knows how short-staffed we are right now. We needed him back out there, and and uh, he had a great inning. And then Simeone really needed that too. So that was those were productive. Those last three innings made me feel a lot better about the pitching. Um, we just got into some trouble in the middle of the game. How uh, impressed were you the offense after Jake gets Olive to end that inning up by two? That they come out and get four runs and give yourself a little bit of distance. Yeah, I was a little breathing room. You know, we haven't had that all year, uh, really. I mean, there's not too many games where we're running away. And, you know, they didn't have that feeling today either, knowing that, you know, these guys are, are very good, especially in their ballpark. So uh, we were just doing everything we could to, to score as many as we could and, and, uh, and stay away from bringing PJ into that ball game. So, uh, you know, he needs, he, he's, he's appeared in so many of them. We're going to need him this weekend, certainly. And it was good to just have him work on not even throw a pitch today. How do you feel going to first place Cincinnati with some guys coming back from injury, arms wise, and the bats are swinging it pretty well? Well, we're going to have to piece it together. And Coach Max said it in the huddle. It's not going to be formulaic or pretty. You know, I mean, we've got to we've got to uh, step up. You know, some guys are going to find themselves like Trevor. You know, was in a game a little bit earlier than he normally is in a game, and that may happen again this weekend. So we're we're going to have uh, you know we're going to have to. To, to figure out we were unconventional last week with the way we did it. We're probably going to have to be unconventional again this weekend because it's going to be unconventional circumstances. We don't know. It doesn't look like we're going to have Chase available. Um, although he's chomping at the bit, doesn't look like we're going to be able to have him. Uh, hopefully he just misses one start. And then, um, uh, you know, we still don't have Kate back. So uh, we're going to piece it together however we can. But I like the flavor of the, the group right now. They're, they're picking each other up. One guy doesn't get it done. It's up to the next guy to, to come through. I thought our hitters did a good job of showing that today. And that seventh, eighth, and ninth on the mound were really good. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Chris.